So my first um, role as MC is to actually introduce uh, Mr Lachlan Hoyle, who's the winner of the Dubbo uh, Speech Spectacular, which is part of this competition. Um, Lachlan is from Parks Public School and he's the overall winner of the Dubbo Speech Spectacular. Now for those of you that don't know, the Dubbo Speech Spectacular is a speech competition running in conjunction with the New South Wales Beef Spectacular, which you may be aware of, which is run in Dubbo um, in May, in April. There are two rounds. Um, in round one, entrants are asked, asked to prepare a two-minute response to one of these following three topics. That farmers can do little to combat climate change, that life in Western New South Wales is better than life in Sydney, or that farming needs a makeover. And I won't steer along the thunder, I'll wait for him, he's going to actually give you his presentation in a moment. But the top speakers from round one were then invited to deliver another two to three minute grand final speech about a given topic at the Beach Spectacular held in March at the Dubbo Showgrounds. Lachlan has been invited to speak today as part of his prize and we're going to hear the speech that progressed him into the grand final as winner. But just to give you a little bit of background on Lachlan, Lachlan is 11 years old. He was born in West Virginia in USA. He's in year six at Parks Public um, School. Although not from a farming background, Lachlan has several good family friends who are on farms in the Parks area. Lachlan has driven tractors, seen shearing and lambing, done egg collecting, and loves to collect bits of old machinery. Now when Lachlan grows up, he said he's, um, he's thought about being the next Doctor Who, or, or he's also thought about being a lawyer, maybe the next Prime Minister, or maybe even a farmer. So with that, I'd like to introduce Lachlan to give his presentation to you all. Drought is so yesterday. I think green is the new brand. What farmers need is a good dose of rain. Talk about makeovers. But assuming climate control is a bit too hard for now, let's talk about what you can actually do. Did you know that 85% of Sydney ciders never go west of Katoomba? How can they possibly know about farming? Frankly, watching McLeod's daughters does not mean you understand farming. But it does mean that about half of our population have little understanding of the industry that feeds them and which contributes some $39 billion to our economy each year. Farmers have a PR problem. Thanks to farming friends and teachers, I know a little more about farming and I learn a lot more researching these features. Why don't city people know about farming? Biodynamic farming. Conservation farming techniques like minimal tillage, crop and pasture rotation and stubble mulching. They're practices designed to regenerate and protect the very land on which we all rely. You know why they don't know about the good stuff you do? You farmers don't tell them and it's time you did. So here are a few ideas from an 11 year old boy. A TV show that tells city, about, city people about farming. Frankly, Landline doesn't cut it in the city, so you might have to get a bit more creative. A PS2 or Wii game. Interactive technology would lend itself brilliantly to farming. Fun and educational, and something for the entire family. What about an adopt a city dweller? Set a web, up a website like one of those internet dating services where you can match city, pe city people and farmers. Invite them out and show them what you do. More funds for research and development of other sustainable techniques and a scheme to encourage farmers to take them up, no easy task when money is tight, would also help. Or what about one of those new photo calendars? Like the fine that and others have done. All you need is some strategically placed equipment and 12 willing volunteers, add some text and you've got the female population covered. <laughs> really, it's about education and advertising. Farmers are doing their bit, but not enough people know it. Farming needs an image makeover. 